I'm having a look at Bitcoin today. It's been a pretty exciting few weeks on cryptos and Bitcoin in, in particular. Um, Going to have a look at a few of our fundamentals today and also technicals and just a, a little bit of a backstory that, you know, Bitcoin now is is a risk asset has proven itself as such over the last of oh, certainly the last few months now, which means that um, general risk sentiment, the market's off and then crypto is going to suffer very similar to uh, like a high beta tech stock. So um, let's have a look at the chart and see what we can see today. Now the, at a very critical level here, Bitcoin, um, some very, it's a big support zone here. So normally when you think of um, support levels, it's never just a, a line. It's never really just a level. What more you'll see is a support zone. So if we look at Bitcoin um, on a weekly chart, you can see the real support zones would go from about 33,000 um, down to around 28, where the previous lows were. Now, most traders are going to have their, their stops just below the lowest, um, the previous lows, not right on it. So you could say that the support zone around about the 27 would be where, from my experience, would you will see um, where the buying will come in. Uh, the capitulation and the stops, I would suggest, are going to be a couple of thousand below the last lows here. So uh, you could, I, in my opinion, this green zone here would be the buying zone, the support zone. Um, and that's kind of played out when you see the, the volume we've seen. Every time it's gotten to this zone over the last couple of years, we've seen a real spike in volume a lot of chop as the bulls and the bears fight it out. Um, and the last couple of times it's managed to hold and, and, and rally it again. Now, this time we've gone a little bit further into that zone and we, we're really pushing up, I think, where um, you're going to see all the stop losses around about this area here. Um, now, once I think once we've broken that 27, if it happens, uh, there may be a little bit of a cascade down here and we may even see it test uh, the highs from back in 2018. That's really the, the next logical support area. Um, so when you're making your mind up to buy or sell this one, we can see, um, and, I, and, and I can see from the flow at our day dealing desk, there's a lot of volume as it's in this area. There's a lot of buying, a lot of buy limit orders. Uh, there's also... A lot of stop losses from people who've got their stops just below um, just below the uh, latest lows there. So one thing you need to keep in mind too with Bitcoin is that, um, as I said earlier, it's, it is a risk asset now and, and it behaves very much like a tech stock, like a, a Tesla or, a, or an Amazon, something that's a high growth, um, high beta stock that performs very well when the market's risk on. But... When the market's risk off, which we're seeing at the moment, with especially with the CPI figures last night, and there's this uh, expectation interest rates are going to rise, um, that really hurts the risk uh, risk assets a lot more. Which you can see the how the Nasdaq's really underperformed, say the more value orientated Dow. Now, just to put that in perspective, I'm just going to bring up a chart of the um, of the Nasdaq to to clarify that point. So. Here we go, the NASDAQ to weekly chart as well. You can see it uh, has similar support zones. Um, we could go from, say, here, 13,000 down to uh, the lows of 2021, around about there, late 2021. Um, now, this area here is the, the obvious support area for the NASDAQ. Um, you can see that going back... Uh, to July 2020, that was a resistance level. Um, it then became support level, which is very common, rose up and above, and we've seen it come back down, break these supports, uh, push through this one, now heading down to this one, which is a stronger support because there's been a bit more, uh, a bit more back and forth at this area. Um, anything below that, I would suggest as well, would be an area where a lot of stop losses are. Um, and we could see a pretty quick drop if it does get there. So like that. So one of the the positives for Bitcoin is that um, there has been a lot of buying in this support zone, this green area here, and it has held previously, even though we've pushed a little further in. But I guess one thing to watch out for is this Nasdaq here. If you look at it, it's broken through some of its support levels, but 
there's a little bit of a distance to go before it gets its major support. So the feeling is if that if that NASDAQ pushes down and tests that support, um, you would sit, it's a very good chance that Bitcoin will break through this area here, this buying area, um, hit this red zone where there will be a lot of stop losses and we could see a cascade downwards. Um, so it's very important to keep an eye uh, on not just the Bitcoin chart, but on the other markets that are very close, closely related, which you can see NASDAQ is one of them. Um, very similar price action, especially over the last few months, where we've so seen a, a rise and a drop off. As, as this inflationary story is playing out on all risk assets, we're seeing the NASDAQ especially hard hit. Um, and Bitcoin, um, almost identical for the last few weeks. So keep an eye on the NASDAQ. Um, keep an eye on tonight's PPI figures, which is another inflation figure. If they come in hot like the CPI, there's a very good chance the NASDAQ is going to take a leg lower. And this buy, area, buy zone with Bitcoin is really going to be tested. I hope you found this useful anyway. Thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye on the PPI figure tonight. Thank you.